in this question we have sin inverse x upon root of 1 minus x square. Now, if you observe both the things are pretty complicated, yes, but the derivative of sin inverse x is this. So, we can assume sin inverse x, let sin inverse x equal to t which gives me 1 upon root 1 minus x square dx is equal to dt. Therefore, i integral becomes equal to t upon this under dx upon under root of x square is actually dt, right? So, there is no need of upon this is dt. So, that becomes t square by 2 plus constant which is sin inverse x whole square half plus constant is my answer. This is what you have. That is the final answer for this 23rd question as you can see over here.